Okay, today it's the end. So on this clip, we're going to be going over how to use um, Heron's formula to find um, the area of triangles, okay? So Heron is also known as Hero, so uh, whichever name you prefer to use is perfectly fine, all right? This is um, the picture of one of the artistic renditions of this um, individual. He was from the city of Alexandria in Greece, and he was a mathematician and also an engineer that came up with some really cool stuff. All right, so this is Hero, or you can call it Hero, all right, of Alexandria. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the uh, formula he came up with, cool formula for the area of a triangle. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to draw ourselves a triangle first, and then uh, we'll, we'll write down uh, what the formula is. Okay, so let's say we have a triangle, this nature, and we just want to label the sides ABC, uh, sides of the triangle are ABC. Now this is uh, what uh, Heron's formula is, Heron's formula. Okay, Heron's formula basically um, states that the area, the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle with side lengths, side lengths A, B, and C. Um, this is SSS, no, okay. SSS means that you have the three sides, all right? Hero's formula is excellent for triangles where you have all the three sides, so it's easy to find what the three sides are, okay? Um, so the area of a triangle with side length A, B, and C, SSS, um, is given by, is given by, uh, let's use A, A equals the square root, the square root is a little bit long, so I need to use a ruler to elongate it. The square root of S times S minus side length A times S minus side length B times S minus, minus um, side length C. Okay? Alright. Okay, uh, what on earth is S though? Uh, well, let's include that in our definition, where S is the semi-perimeter, okay, the semi-perimeter. All right, how do you compute the semi-perimeter? Um, arithmetically, uh, the semi-perimeter S can be computed by adding the three sides, A, B, and C, and dividing it by two, okay? So there goes... Um, Hero or Hero's formula. So if you want to use Hero's formula, you need it's good to have three sides, three measures. You first of all compute the semi-perimeter, and then you then input it into this formula to find what the area is. Alright, another version of um, Hero's formula is kind of interesting. Let me put that in green. Um, it's also, uh, let me see, version 2. Version 2. We're not going to use this one. This is just for your entertainment. The area of a triangle can also be given by um, the square root, I'm going to make it a little bit long, the square root of everything positive, all three sides, the sum of all three sides positive, a plus b plus c times the first side negative and the other two positive, a plus b plus c times the first two, um, the first positive, a positive, um, and then b negative, a minus b plus C times, guess what, the last one negative C, A plus B minus C, all that divided by, um, divided by 16, okay, divided by 16. This is another version of Hero's formula that can be derived from this. It's kind of interesting how you just flip the signs of each one, um, and then multiply the product of your sums and divide by 16 and you also get the area of a triangle. So this is a really cool formula right here. Pretty cool. Alright, now but we're going to just focus on using this uh, formula right here. This is the one that's common. was generally accepted, alright? So let's go ahead and uh, try some examples, alright? So, 
these are the instru instructions for the examples. Um, use um, Heron's formula or Hero's formula to compute uh, the area of the given triangles of the given triangles. All right. Express your answers. Express your answers in um, exact and approximate forms. Approximate forms. Uh, for the approximate form, just do it to the tenth place. Okay, tenth place. All right. Okay, now number one, let's say we have a triangle, uh, an isosceles triangle. Let me sketch it for you. An isosceles triangle like this. And we have side lengths uh, 11, 11 meters, 11 meters, and uh, 12 meters. Okay, all right, so we want to find out the area. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to identify A, B, and C. So A, let's call A um, 11. Let's call B 12. And let's call C 11. It doesn't really matter how you label it. Okay, so that's A, B, C. Um, now we need to compute the semi perimeter first before we can compute the area. So semi perimeter S is A plus B plus C divided by. Um, two. Okay, so what we're just going to do is add all these and divide by two. So we're going to have 11 plus 12 plus 11 divided by two. All right, let me add everything up. 11 plus 12 plus, um, plus 11 is 34. If you divide that by two, you have 17. So there goes your semi parameter. All right, now let's compute the area. The area is um, the square root of s times um, times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c okay so we're going to substitute the values a b c and the value s equals 17 into this formula that's going to yield the square root of s which is 17 times 17 minus 11 times 17 minus 12 times 17 minus 11, okay? All right, let's simplify that further. We're going to have um, the square root of 17 times 17 minus 11 um, is six, times six times 17 minus 12 is five, 17 minus five times 17 minus 11 is six, okay? So if we wanna simplify this, we know that these two repeat, so we can just reduce this. This is simply um, six times six is 36, so uh, the square root of 36 is 6, so 6 can come out. These two are prime, so we just multiply them together, we'll have 85. So 6 root 85 is your exact answer. Uh, what is this approximately? Let's find out the approximate value of 6 root 85. All right, so let's bring out our calculators. I'm going to cal uh, try and calculate 6 root 85. Uh, so we're going to have um, 6 times the square root of 85, um, enter, 55.3, or you can enter this initial part right here if you don't want to do the exact form first. You want to make sure that your answer is correct, so you can just do the square root of 17 times 6 times 5 times 6, close that, enter, 55.3, all right? So your answer is approximately 55.3 to the 10th place. So the area, of my triangle is um, equal to 6 root 85 meters or uh, 50 or is approximately 55.3 meters square the square is because this is area okay so there goes your answer all right um let's take a look at another example and do that take a look at another example using um uh, Hero's formula. This one's a little bit easy. All right. What about example two? 
What if we have uh, can do that? What if we have a triangle with the following measures? Uh, make a sketch. Three. Four. All right, so let's just see the side lengths of my triangle. I'm not, it's not drawn to scale. Um, are three, four, five. Okay, there are two ways of doing this. There's an easier way, but I want to use um, I want to use uh, Hewitt's formula here. All right, so first thing you want to find is a semi perimeter, which is S. So we basically let's call this A, and let's call this B, and let's call this C. So the semi perimeter is going to be A plus B plus C over two. So let's compute that. We're going to have three plus four plus five over two. Okay. 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 7 plus 5, which is 12 over 2 is 6. So a semi-parameter S is equal to 6. Now we're ready to compute the area. The formula for the area, if we remember, um, basically and put it down here. The area, using Hero's formula, or Hero's formula, is 